Mark? You want me to piss on you? Well, you just pissed me off. Nail Gun Massacre. Right? Nail Gun Massacre was this film that was released back in 1985, um, and it was re-released uh, back in 2011 on another VHS. It didn't There's something genuine about how awesome Nail Gun Massacre is. Uh, on top of it being, to me, uh, a precursor to um, the character in No Country for Old Men, the guy who carries around the air compressor, uh, this is a ridiculous exploitation film from the same uh, from the times of when Texas Chainsaw Massacre was uh, the shit, you know. So everyone wanted uh, a toolbox type uh, massacre. So the movie starts off with uh, a very awkward rape scene, and uh, by by saying it's awkward, is I usually get uneasy about like rape scenes in any movie. So this one was just kind of like laugh out loud funny, like. They're raping this, at the beginning of the film, there's a rape scene, and they're raping her with pants on. So it's just kind of a weird rape scene. Uh, the simplicity of the film is that uh, the people that raped this lady at the beginning of the film seems to be hunted down by the nail gun massacre. Uh, there's not really much of a story. It's very simple. It's just like, it seems like they filmed this movie within like, maybe like two years or something on their free time so like they didn't really have a coherent story uh, I mean it's just deaths after deaths after death scenes it's not really like there's not really an exposition on if these other characters know that they're being hunted down it's just a lot of gore there's a lot of boobs which is great for this time for this time frame there's a lot of boobs in movies the killer has a ridiculous uh, like Darth Vader-esque voice, like a voice changer voice. Well, who was it? Because when not somebody else you knew. I don't know. The police haven't been able to make a positive ID yet on the body. Seems we've been losing an awful lot of men down at the Mullins construction site. I'm beginning to think that maybe there's some kind of connection between the killings and that job site. Well, anyway, that's for the police to figure out. Now, no gun massacre. Why is this shit I think about? Well... This movie uh, is very low budget, low brow, uh, easily forgotten. But for whatever reason, I fucking love the shit out of this movie. This movie is the type of movie that you would watch with your friends and just have a great time uh, just watching the movie. And it's held together very thinly with, you know, a nail. It's, it's, very, it's held thinly together with a nail gun massacre. And for the most part, even though this movie uh, didn't make a big splash when it came out, um, over time it, it's, it's garnered kind of a patina of um, awesomeness. And uh, for, for a movie called Nail Gun Massacre, came out in 1985, they just nailed it. And that is shit I think about.